So, it was the emergence of Daryl Gurney going all the way to the final, beating the likes of Gary Anderson and Peter Wright. He was superb. Last year, Gary Anderson himself won the title, played enormously well in one of the best years of his incredible career. And irrespective of what happens in this final, Nathan Aspinall has got to be the story of this week in Vegas. It is astonishing what he's achieved and how well he's played. Well, of course, the, the walk-up music for Nathan is very apt. And he does this time find the first 180 of this final. Mr. Brightside by the Killers, who hail from... 93. Las Vegas. Brandon Flowers and the band who were starring at Glastonbury last weekend what? in the UK. 70, and here Nathan Aspinall, with the backing of the Killers in Vegas, is starring in Sin City. He's left 24 Nine. after nine. Well, what was I said about sublime to ridiculous? Ridiculously good. A 10 dart start from the Asp. 100. It is incredible how there just seems to be all he sees are opportunities. There's no reservations, no nerves, no nothing. He has thrown himself at this tournament. He is averaging 103 for the whole tournament. He thinks we're in for a cracker. Oh! Four one eight teams and a one seven seven in a leg and a half of darts. Nathan Aspinall in his first World Series final. Oh, will not produce the nine darter. He had a sequence of seven perfect darts in the first leg. He started with six here. I mean, that, that is genuinely 13 perfect darts in a row from the Asp. Oh, they're flying on adrenaline. 83. Michael, 130. And after all that, Aspinall may still lose the leg. He may still lose the leg. Double five. Oh, this is just incredible. Incredible. Acknowledged by Aspinall. Who wins. 181, 86 perfect darts and loses the leg to a 12 darter. Well, I'll just take it away, boys. I love this game. 